Hello Eli, my name's Ophelia. How you doing? Nice I'm to meet you. I'm here. Thank you very thank much. You much. Now, thank you for letting us come down to Inner Sea FM to see mine. what you get up to. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about Inner City FM and how long you've been here. Right, Inner City FM, um, with myself and my partner, Junior, as you can see, he's bobbing his head there on the ones and twos. We've been here for about, um, going on about two months now. You know, yeah. we come every Wednesday, 8 pm till 10 pm, and we play nice music. We also have debates as well. Okay. You know what I mean? And this is a show with a difference because we actually invite people on the show. Mm -hmm. You know I mean, not just if you're a celebrity or something like that. You could be an ordinary mo, come on the show, and you know, if you've got anything you want to say or if you want to put your business across, now this is what we're here for. We'll be your platform. My gosh. Well, those who know about this tune, you know what? I, I need, I personally need two people to to call the phone line and hang up because you know what? This oh, you guys started already. The phone line's going. Like, Hi, Change. I'm a feel It's lovely to meet lovely you. To and thank you for welcoming us down to your radio station. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about your station and what it is you guys do here. Well, firstly, I've got to say, um, you know, it's it's um. It's a community thing for us personally, you know. We just got a slot on this station, you know. So um, big up to Inner City, you know, for giving us the platform. And um, really, truly, our slot is really about just the, it's called the Change Show, right? Yeah. And we're just trying to create change with all of our listeners. We've got people that's in different countries that might be listening. And yeah, really, just good music, good topics, and real people relating, you know. That's what it's about for us. Really. And why do you think it's important to offer people the opportunity to change? Change is inevitable. Personally, I feel like, you know what, whether you like it or not, things are changing. Yeah. The world's constantly moving, so if you're not moving with it, you're getting left behind. Mm. So, I don't know how much more reasons we need, but you know what, we don't have a choice with change, yeah. you know? Absolutely. Mm. 079614314. Four, three, one. If you know about this tune, you know we keep it old school, man. Sounds like Adina Howard right now. Yeah. That's really interesting that yeah. you welcome people on, you know, if they've got an idea of this adventure that that's you right. come down, you just have that yeah. one, and that's really that's cool. That's no problem at all. Now, you also do debate shows as well. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about some of the types of debates that you've had so far on the show. <laughs> well, we've had debates on uh, relationships. Yeah. You know, we've had a lot of response on that. Um, slavery, where we went really, really deep on that, you know, because um, a lot of us are not taught about our slavery, you know what I mean? So we only talk about like what really what we're meant to like here. Yeah. But to also to go deep into what we we wanted to talk about, um, it, it, it took a lot for us to actually bring that up and to get all the facts across as well. But we had a lot of response. People were really interested. I can imagine. So you know, you also do the fun topic as well as the quite sensitive yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's always good to have a diverse of laughter yeah. and then seriousness yeah. at the same time. So we're not just on one level. We yeah. move like a heartbeat, you know, up and down. Yeah, and that brings me on to the debate of today. What's oh. it all about today? <laughs> Uh, today's today's subject um, is it's about weed. Sorry. What? <laughs> today's subject is about weed. Um, the yeah, you, I did say that. It shows entitled to weed or not to weed. And you know what? I believe one of my evenings guests are actually very fast approaching. So we're gonna unreveal that topic for tonight. So all of those that are holding on to their hats and their hairs and. Um, <laughs> You know, whatever else, you're gonna have some fun tonight. Woo! Mm. Today's debate, my God, you know what? Like, today's debate is about to weave or not to weave. That is the question. That's the question. So the debate is, we're talking about, you know, women with, with, with their own natural hair, versus women with you know the additional you know and and the causes and effects of, of what that does to that individual and to the society that, that we're living in so yeah it's it's it's, it's going to be a heated one yeah <laughs> very thought-provoking topic this day yeah yeah big up samantha saying big tune ladies i want you to be singing at home you know now, who came up with this topic today? Uh, we both thought of it. Okay. You know, we thought it would be a good, good idea because yeah. it's a subject that um, you're going to get a lot of response from. Yeah. And it's an everyday subject. Of you know, 24-hour subject. So, yeah. you know. 
<laughs> yeah. That's what we're here, man. And yeah, I'm just thinking of all the weaves that I've been, all the types of hair, all yeah. the things that we think about, the misconceptions and all the things that people talk about yeah. to do with weaves. So I can totally understand yeah. and appreciate that it probably will have a lot of input from your viewers. That's right. But what's your take on weaves? My take, um, <laughs> I don't really have a problem with it, take the trip. I just think that if it looks good, mm -hmm. you know, then, then I'm all for it. But if it looks a bit tacky, it's got to be fixed. Mm. It's got to be fixed. Yeah, but what if someone's natural hair is tacky? Would you have more? Would you have such an opinion on it if it was their natural hair that was well, looking tacky? If their hair was tacky, um, my advice to them, but their own advice, probably is get a perm. You know what I mean? I think that that would that would probably help them. You know what I mean? But um, the whole wee thing, I like I said, there's no issue with it. It has yeah. to, as long as as it looks good. Yeah. And that is it. And uh, obviously, if you're wearing it, you want it to look good and presentable. Yeah. So, yeah. That's, Definitely. That's it. That's it. <laughs> You know what, bro? This, this, this is a topic by itself, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just the old school music is a topic by itself. I That's think right. that is going to be something that we're going to have one of these weeks. Yeah, we have to. We have to. The difference between now and then, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, it's like back then it was S curl and all that and Dax and all that. What is it now? My gosh, for real, you yeah. You had your S curl. S -curl. Those who had their S curl, the, the <laughs> gentlemen, guys, text us, man. Ring him. Was it the black tin and the gold tin, innit? My gosh, you know what? It was the S curl, yeah, and there was the red one. And and the blue one, innit? Yeah, that was that. The, the Wave and groom. The little perm kit, you yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> Bun up my scalp piece. <laughs> <laughs> Try doing it myself. Yeah. My gosh. <laughs> For me, I, I I like thought provoking, you know, yeah. conversations, and I really like to know that. Um, in general, I like to understand where the mindset is behind everyone I'm speaking to, mm. and you know what. This isn't just um, the black community because I've, I, I've recently realised that you know all other races are, are having weeds and stuff. But I didn't know that. I, I can only rep for what I see. I know. I know my my family members. I know them from you know having natural, and now I see the different looks. Yeah. So I can only you know respond yeah. to what I see in my community. But um, I just want to know the mindset behind you know some of the. The, I was going to say the weeds, but... I'm the mindset behind the weave. Wow, that's deep. Well, it's not as real, is it? Why do girls weave to weave or not to weave, as you're To saying. weave or not to weave, yeah. And that's it, really. You know what I mean? I just want to know, you know, if, if it's just me. Because, you know what, there's so much to talk about with this yeah, topic. Of and in a nutshell, I personally... I don't want no women fighting me or coming to, you know what I mean, say, look, you know what, who are you to say that? You know what I mean? Mm. I personally feel that... Um, the deep rooted conditioning behind wearing a weave isn't being addressed. Right. You feel me? Yeah. And I think sisters look beautiful with their weave. I love it. Do you know what I mean? I love a natural woman more than I love a woman with a weave. But that's because of me understanding the mindset that comes with a woman being natural. Yeah. To me, she's showing that, you know what, she's fully comfortable with her identity. Yeah. And to me, like, I know it's not easy, it's not promoted in this day and age. But a woman that can take the standing against that, that means, you know what, her mindset's on a level where, you know, she she, she, she take on the world, isn't it? That's no no disrespect to none of my sisters or no one who's not wearing that, but I'm saying, this is what this topic's about. Yeah. Are you aware of what, what image you're portraying? Yeah. If you are and you're cool and you say, you know what, I'm still very much clued up about, yeah. you know, what this is, but I love it and you know what, this is me and I don't care, 100% to you. Yeah. As long as you know yourself, in it, that's yeah. what this is about. So there's mean. no judgment if anyone's nah. out there they want to no. get involved in the show. No, no judgment whatsoever. No judgment. Everyone's Please. opinion is welcome. Miss E, you know this next tune, yeah? Yeah. Emotional. Play it, man. Let me hear it. No, it's just emotional. Do, man. <laughs> Do I need the Kleenex tissues? You need a whole box, man. <laughs> you know what it is? Maybe it's just me, because you know music affects people differently, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the time when I was going through something with an ex, you know what I mean? And um, you know, like this, you know, you just happen to find that kind of music when you're, when you, you know, when you're getting through it with a woman. You know, I mean? my gosh, I, I was, I was just doing what the tune says, man. You know what I mean? Trust me. For those who can relate to it, you know what? I hope you know about this tune coming in, man. You know what I mean? I know you know about it, Missy, but just, just hey, like, let me hear. I gotta gas it up, man. It's one of them tunes, man. If people want to get involved in your topics on your shows, how can they do that? How can they contact you? If you want to get involved, ladies and gentlemen, you can call 07961 431 431. We're also on the Twitter page, at Inner City FM. And we also got a chat page as well, which is www.innercityfm.com. You know, just call in all that, and then we will respond to any of your messages or your calls. Not a problem. Eli, thank you so much for your That's time. Right, and man. I look forward to hearing everyone's views on your topic <laughs> I tonight. I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> I think we went in there.
nothing. Don't speak. Don't I can't even speak. say nothing. Oh my gosh.